Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your Keurig K Supreme Smart Coffee Maker. So this is how to fix the needles or unclog the needles. So if your coffee maker powers on and you press the button and it, and it doesn't brew the correct amount of quantity, or if it's like not spitting it out correctly or not brewing at all, I'm going to show you how to clean the needles. Now, if you're not getting like if you press an eight ounce and you're only getting six ounces through, that could be that it needs descaled. Check out my descale videos. Now for this video, you're going to need two paper clips. One's a little bit bigger and you're going to need kind of a smaller one and they're metal. So let's open it up here. I'm going to show you how to remove the lower needle and then we'll do the top needle. Be careful. These can be hot. Now the bottom needle does have a sharp needle down in there, but underneath you can poke that up from the bottom and it's not going to, nothing's going to poke you right there. So it's a good idea to clean this once in a while anyway. You'll be surprised how much junk gets down in here. So we're going to split this apart. I like to just grab it and just kind of split it. Now down in here, this is like a funnel, but it's got four pie-shaped openings. These can get stuff in them. You're going to clean these out. Take this to the sink. And while you're doing this, rinse that out with a lot of water and you'll be really surprised. Now here we've got the needle. We're going to come in from the bottom and the, it will go all the way through. Take Again, take this over to the sink, turn this, get this all nice and clean and use a brush down in here because that gets really dirty too. Okay, so we need to put it back together. Line up these tabs here. It should kind of snap, give it a little tug and it should be good to go. Now we're gonna find the arrow. The arrow is gonna to go towards the hinge. Line up the arrow towards the hinge. There's these little tabs and snap it down. Make sure it's nice and flush all the way around. Practice closing it. You shouldn't have to force it at all. Now, one of the things that's really hard on a Keurig coffee maker is when you leave a cake up in here, um, and the needles are stuck down in the K-cup. They're in coffee grounds and you'll be surprised. Coffee grounds can get in these needles and they actually plug it up like really, really tight. So we need to get this paper clip. We're gonna do the center one first. It's got three openings. You're gonna put it in. Now don't, don't go all the way. There is a tube back there. You could damage it inside the machine. Just kind of put it in and rotate it. Go in the other opening and rotate it. And there's even one around the other side Again, and then we may have to do this three or four times. Just you may get some coffee grounds out. Okay, so now we're gonna do the four needles that surround it. They're from the sideways. Now this takes a smaller and they're very small, but if you go in from the side, you'll see it coming out right there. Again, it's a very small opening, so be careful. You can take this rubber piece off here. It does slide off and, and going on is relatively okay, but be careful, that is really sharp. Clean all four of these needles. Yeah, be careful. Unfortunately, we can't go up. We can't go up into that those outside needles at all. So we just gotta rely on this. Kind of rotate it. Yeah, they kind of get stuck in there, so be careful. So since this is a smart coffee maker, there is a window up here. I like to wipe that window off with a clean cloth. There is a camera up there that does take a picture of your K-cup, so I like to keep that area nice and clean also. Okay, so now it's time to do a fresh water rinse. Leave, make sure the basket's in there. Put this down. We're gonna do a hot water, fresh water rinse. So press this little button right here, hot water. Do six ounces and press the K button. Now you should get the water coming out in a nice steady stream. If you're still not getting water to come out, I have had to clean the needles four times until water finally came out. So don't give up. Sometimes it does take a little bit. But in the future, just don't leave a, a used cake up in there for very long. You should let it cool off a little bit, but don't leave them in there for three or four days. Now, I, I, these freshwater rinses, I like to do these once a week. If I'm drinking a lot of coffee, I'll do them like every third or fourth day. These just keep the needles nice and clean. You will see some coffee grounds in here. Those five needles on the top, you do get some coffee grounds around here. Um, I've not gotten them into my coffee and let, if I keep up on the fresh water rinses, if I forget to do fresh water rinses about once every three to five days, I will start to get some coffee grounds around the cake up into my coffee. But if I keep up on just running fresh water through here, it cleans all five of those needles really well. The water will look really bad. It's gonna have a bunch of coffee grounds in it, but that's okay. It keeps it all nice and clean, and then you've got a really nice cup of coffee. 
So again, check out my descale video. It is important to keep up on descaling these coffee makers. That will affect how much quantity of water comes out each time. So I hope this video helps. If you could, please like and subscribe.